So I'm looking at this Karen Act, and apparently they've already passed it in California. Okay, so Karen. Karen is like a racist white woman who calls the cops. Oh, there's a black man, and he looked at me, and I'm scared out of my mind. I mean, I was shouting a whole bunch of racial epithets at him, but he, he, he made eye contact with me. So to a scared, insecure white supremacist, eye contact might be enough to frighten them. And also, there's other situations that are happening, and they're saying, I'm going to call the police and I'll make up some racial, you know, sort of thing. That's what the Karen Act would stop. Caution against racially exploitative non-emergencies. The Karen Act started with a C. Caution against racially exploitative non-emergencies. That's great. Racially exploitative non-emergencies. My God. Introduced on Tuesday. There's a reason we have an epidemic of fucking Karens. Karens need to goddamn rein it in. Rein it all the way back in. Quit being racist policy. In fact, I want to start hearing what Caucasians are doing to be anti-racist. It's not good enough to just not be a racist. Oh, you're just not a racist? I'm going to kind of call bullshit on that. Because you live in a racist society, you have to actively be anti-racist if you're going to be not racist. I speak out about a lot of racial injustice. The ordinance's name is a twist on Karen, the name social media. This is from CNN.com. 2020, 78, so it's been a while. It's not just Karen. There's also names like Becky and Susan and Chad. AB1550 bill introduced by California Assemblyman Rob Bonta made it unlawful and accountable for a caller to fabri fabricate false racially biased emergency reports. Using 911 as a tool for your prejudice towards marginalized communities, it's unjust and wrong. It sure is. Racially motivated 911 calls aren't a new occurrence across the country in spite of a recent uptick following the death of George Floyd. Just a few weeks ago, a white hotel employee in North Carolina called the police as, on a guest, a black woman and her child who were using the hotel swimming pool. And in May, cops, you need to get here. The people that are paying for a hotel, they're using the hotel's facilities. Yep, I, she used the microwave. I saw her. In May, a white woman called 911 on a black man who was bird watching in New York's Central Park. Bonta said the intent of AB1550 isn't to discourage Californians in real danger from calling 911. This bill could protect millions of Californians from becoming targets of hate and prevent the weaponization of our law enforcement against communities of color. I love it. I love the name, I love the epithet, and you know, you don't even really just pass a resolution to say that you support the spirit of the thing, right? A non-binding resolution. There's also, there's resolutions, ordinances, there's just declarations too, right? You could just declare things. And they, here in the Grand Rapids, Michigan, the city commission, they held a public hearing and they suggested $500 fines. That sounds all right to me, a $500 fine. And then some people say we should take a look and see if they're kind of hate crimes, which, I mean, that's kind of like swatting, right? It's kind of like a racist trying to swat a poor, unsuspecting person of color. Let's see. Rocky Mountain PBS. We'll read this. 22 hours ago, published it. So we have this cowboy here. Courtney Mallory at the Colorado State Capitol building in Denver. A two-year-old dispute between neighbors. Let's see. The Karen Act. Caution against racially explosive non-emergencies. Proponents said it will criminalize racially motivated calls to police, hopefully de-incentivizing such calls. The legislation has not been introduced yet, but NAACP representatives said they're working with legislators to get it on the table. 
Despite all the progress as a nature, as a na nation, we've been striving for it's depressing and morally crushing how we're witnessing old racist terror and tactics used today, but through a new medium, said Vernon Howard, chair of the Colorado Martin Luther King Jr. Holiday Commission, Courtney and Nicole Mallory, two black farmers who own Freedom Acres Ranch, about 33 miles from Colorado Springs, alleged their white neighbor, Teresa Clark, who owns land next to theirs, has subjected them to harassment and violence. El Paso County Court Records. Da, 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 da. Okay, so... The Karen Act. The Karen can can't. The Karen can't can. 